A North Otago farmer who lost her farm after having to deal with a mystery illness has had it confirmed her calves did have mycoplasma bovis. Now, in 2016, Susan McEwen has suspected the reason she lost 600 of the 3,000 animals she was raising due to arthritis and pneumonia was due to M. bovis. But back then, she had no way whatsoever to prove it. Since then, she's learned from MPI that 95% of the now two-year-old bulls sent from her farm to another that have been tested have been found to have been infected. Colin Young, whose Insight documentary featured Susan's story, asked her how she's been feeling now that her hunch has indeed been confirmed. Susan McEwen poured her heart and soul into her calf rearing operation for five years, but after losing an estimated $100,000 in 2016 due to the sheer number of calves that fell ill, she wound up having to sell it. She was kept on as a farm manager, but in May she was let go and is now making ends meet, taking cleaning jobs around Palmerston. But for somebody with a deep knowledge of calves and a passion for rearing them, the financial hit was nothing compared to the hit her reputation had taken. Losing so many calves left her doubting her own abilities. So news late last week that the high death rates were not down to anything she was doing wrong and were instead the fault of M. Bovis was massive. I didn't know for sure until um, MPI rang me the day after the story went to air and they, they confirmed it, so that was huge for me. She's been overwhelmed with the number of farmers who have been in touch with her since her story played on Checkpoint. The interview we did obviously went, I don't think viral is the word, but it's been posted everywhere over Facebook. And I've had a lot of messages from people all over the country, lots of friends and support, but also lots of farmers that I've never heard of, never met. Like all of the cattle that has tested positive for this disease, the calves from Susan's place originally came from the Southland farm belonging to Alfonsi Stratton a property that is thought to have had the disease since late 2015. When they left Susan's place in 2016, M. Bovis had yet to be identified in New Zealand. And she feels bad that calves from her operation have ended up infecting another farmer's stock. She's keen to use her new profile to share her experience with others who are only now going through what she did two years ago. There were lots of basic things like calves that had ear infections from their tags that when we removed tags and we treated with penicillin, they didn't get better. We had a huge amount of pink eye that year, ringworm that year, neck abscesses from vaccines, which I've never seen like it, and jaw abscesses, that when we lanced them and we treated them, they still didn't get better. Um, mycoplasma bovis affects their immunity, so I believe all these things are because they're, they're struggling to keep going. She says her case shows the disease is not just a problem for dairy farmers. It's caused a lot of heartache for beef farmers as well. well. As much as I'm completely broken, it would be fair to say, being out of the calf rearing industry, I don't know if I would be wanting to rear large numbers of calves when this is just starting in New Zealand. I don't know how we can guarantee that you're getting calves from properties that aren't infected. We're only, I mean, we're only just at the tip of the iceberg, aren't we? Like, we still don't know how far it's gone. But while she wouldn't want to commit herself to owning her own operation again, Susan is still keen to get back into the business in some form. I've been offered a few jobs calf rearing in the last week since the story went to air, and I, I mean I would definitely rear calves again. I would, I would, I mean that that's what I want to do. I think that's what I was designed to do. But um, I'm pleased I'm not doing it on my own accord. A spokesperson for the grazing company Susan was rearing the calves for, Graze Care says while 216 calves were sent from her place to the farm which has subsequently been declared to be an infected property, it was not aware if any of its calves had tested positive for M. bovis. The spokesperson declined to be interviewed. As a part owner of the now two-year-old bulls, Gray's Care will be compensated by MPI once they are culled. But because she only owned the land they were grazed on, Susan will not receive a cent from MPI for her losses in 2016. MPI says it's not able to comment on individuals' cases. For Checkpoint, call Conan Young Tene.